I was searching. Who am I? Searching for meaning in my life. What is my purpose? What is my legacy? Who am I? Who am I? I was searching. Who am I? Searching. Purpose. Who am I? I found my calling. I found boxing. I was free. I was power. Free. Power. Blue corner in Yoli Overboard. I started modeling and acting. I was very successful, but I wanted to do something that made a difference. I wanted to give back to the country and to the people that had given me so much. Coming home to Nigeria after being away in America for 18 years. My friends didn't want me to go. My parents didn't want me to go because Nigeria could be dangerous. Good God be with you every day. A big part of my coming home is I started a foundation called the Champion Spirit Foundation. I want to use the foundation to help rebuild the amateur boxing program in Nigeria. I want to start from the grassroots level with from the kids. Uh, we want to build a facility where the kids can come after school for free. A facility where they can learn how to box, do their exercises, lift some weights, get stronger, run around on the track, you know, just generally have fun. Most of these kids are so poor, they can't afford to pay for transportation to get to the stadium to work out. So they risk their lives every morning by running on the highway. These kids' lives are in danger every day. Imagine running on a highway with no sidewalks, with cars and SUVs and trucks whizzing all around you. Because we love it, we have passion for it, we take the risk, we are doing it because we know we have something to gain from it. It's to come and learn hard work, discipline and focus and learn that this is what will help you succeed in all parts of your life. Some of these kids box barefoot, no headgear, no mouthpiece. These kids train on concrete and dirt. If they fall down and hit their head on the ground, it will be all over for them. We need to provide these facilities now. We have facilities that um, we are going to be not making off the So we are always going to, you know, there, I'm sure there are different ways we can uh, work. Nigeria is still one of the top 10 oil producers in the world. But most of the people don't have access to this money. 70% of Nigerians live in abject poverty. The thing that makes me sad is that the government is not providing something for We are just managing it to survive, but what I'm doing is more than the money I'm getting. Most of them, instead of five days training, once we come maybe twice the week, sometimes we went to the house for why? Why not? I don't have money to eat. Their families can only afford one meal a day, so they come to work out on an empty stomach. I believe that if you give kids an outlet, if you give them an athletic outlet, a way to get out all that energy, boys have a lot of testosterone, you got to give them a way to get all that energy out and the boxing gym in Nigeria will help these kids take them off the streets and give them something to look forward to, give them a dream to aspire to. Boxing is the main thing that brings us together. You can do anything. Anything you want to do, people are going to tell you, you can't do this, you can't do that. Always drink it. Don't drink small. I think that I can become a champion, but boxing may help me to get some money like, that I use and help my parents. I love Mayweather because I'm fighting like Mayweather. Even though I can't say I'm fighting like Mueller. Mueller is fighting like me because I'm a champion too. <laughs> it's true. I just want to show everybody back home in Nigeria and actually like all over the world that if you can dream it and work hard, 
You can do anything. You can make anything happen. You can succeed at anything. Whatever it is you want to do, just hold on to that dream and work hard and you can make it come true.